What's up, guys? Today we're going to be talking about a very unexpected counter to the Heroes for Hire and Alliance War. And the best part is it only requires one rare character, and that is Kestrel. But let's get into it. Alright, so as you may have guessed, we are talking about a Hydra team. Now, this was actually first proposed to me in my YouTube comments. Someone had typed it out and basically said, uh, what do you think? Do you think this could have a shot? And looking it over, I felt, yeah, I, I actually do think that that team, on paper, they should win. But I hadn't tested it, of course, and we wanted to make sure, with my alliance anyway, that we were testing the most likely counters first. So, things involving Silver Surfer and Black Bolt, you know, we wanted to play it safe and not experiment in wars where we were trying to win. So I want to give a shout out to Travels, and I'll put a link to his channel in the video description below, but Travels went ahead and tested this Hydra team right away and got some pretty good results. So the footage we're going to take a look at is about an 80k punch down. Now I have other footage of this exact same team in action, which we'll check out in just a bit. And this team does not have to punch down on these guys. But the first footage we're going to look at is the original footage sent to me by Travels, which was basically a proof of concept, so I knew Oh yeah, this is going to work, and this one happens to be an 80k punch down, but let's take a look at that, and then we'll break down why and how it works, and then we'll take a look at another much closer in power match. So his footage is essentially going to jump in a few seconds into the beginning of the match, so here we go. And as you can see, Colleen immediately starts taking swings at the Hydra Rifle Trooper. That's because she goes after whoever has the least health, and if you set this up right, that should be Rifle Trooper. And if she's going to keep taking swings at him, she's essentially wasting her attacks because he can't die. But it gets even better. Not only is Red Skull going to keep reviving him, but every time he revives, he's actually going to hit them with a hail of bullets, which you'll see right here, punishing them for even going after him in the first place. And really, the goal now is to take out Colleen Wing immediately. I've seen some other content creators recommending going after other targets. I think that's a huge mistake. Colleen Wing does a tremendous amount of damage, not only on her own turn, but on every hero for higher turn, and no team can really withstand that onslaught, so you want to take her out right away. And the Kestrel ult is perfect for that, because anyone killed by Kestrel ult cannot be revived. So in this particular footage, they happen to burn through all of her charges anyway, and that's because the Hydra team does quite a bit of damage. But even if she still had a charge, the Kestrel ult would prevent the revive, and with Colleen Wing off the field, it's a much easier fight. There's a plug for Travels, by the way, so be sure to go and subscribe to him. Again, link in the video description. But at this point, it is now a 5v3. JJ, pretty easy to get rid of because she's not actually a hero for hire. I think she's a very weak choice specifically for this war defense team. But now it's really just a matter of sustain. Kestrel will be able to take all of the damage that these three can put out and will heal off any debuffs that they put on her. And so she's basically going to be fine and just needs some time to work to take them out. And so with a Hydra minion that simply refuses to die, a somewhat tanky Crossbones who is going to have some death proof, they're going to be fairly durable uh, and they're going to be able to stick around more than long enough for Kestrel to do work. Not to mention Red Skull actually has a defense down on his basic, which is more defense down opportunity for anyone on the team to hit into the defense down, which will proc the Kestrel, sorry, Kestrel passive is going to do a bunch of damage and just kill them that much quicker. So Luke Cage already down. Um, and yeah, it, it's a pretty easy fight. Uh, it's a very, very convincing counter. So again, this one happened to be a bit of a punch down. And the benefit of having a strong Kestrel for this definitely helps. Kestrel's just an incredibly devastating blaster. So you don't really want to attempt this if you have a very, very small Kestrel. Uh, there is an alternative if your Kestrel is a little bit lacking, which I will go over uh, later on in the video. But uh, as you can see, this is a bit of a breeze, and so as you'll see in the next footage, uh, you do not have to even do an 80k punch down to win this convincingly, but yeah, they still have all five original members on the field. That is how efficiently they were able to crush the heroes for hire. So huge shout out to Travels for hooking us up with this footage. Thank you. All right, and this next video you're about to see was actually provided when I sent out a blast on my Discord server asking if anyone was about to face a hero for hire team in Alliance War, if they wouldn't mind trying a counter and letting me coach them through it. And so a huge shout out to Batman and Cap-10, who are both from the Hella's Empire Blue Alliance, for answering the call. They provided us with this awesome footage that I cannot wait for you guys to see. So huge, huge shout out to those guys. But on to the footage. All right, in this footage, as you can see, it is much, much closer in power. 
This is only a 29k punch down, uh, and it doesn't have to be. This actually works as a small punch up and is a very, very safe punch across. This just happened to be the footage that we could get based on who had which teams and characters available. So I'll go ahead and start up the uh, load time here and give some tips on if you're going to take this matchup, a few things that you want to make sure you have in place before you actually start the fight. First is you want to make sure that the Hydra minion is the lowest health member of the team. This Colleen Wing is always going to go after the most injured ally on your team. And if everyone is more or less full health, then she's going to go after whoever has the lowest amount of health. You want to make sure that that's the Hydra minion so that the Hydra minion keeps getting killed over and over and Red Skull will keep reviving him. Uh, it does work really well to use Rifle Trooper. It does not have to be Rifle Trooper. However, Rifle Trooper will assist on the non-attack abilities like the Red Skull Summon and more importantly, will let off an AoE every single time he revives. So they're actually punishing themselves by killing him. So it's some nice extra damage. You also really want to take a close look at Zemo's focus. You want to make sure Zemo has pretty good focus, especially if you're going against a really, really high level hero for hire team. If they have a JJ, they might have crazy resistance and you really want that Zemo passive to be able to remove defense ups and other positive effects. And then finally, do not try this in security uh, or a room buff by security it can go pretty badly. But bring down this footage, you can see immediately Colleen starts going after the Hydra Rifle Trooper. Uh, Go ahead and use the Zemo special, and the reason for this is because you ultimately want to kill Colleen with the Kestrel ultimate. So the goal was to drop her low, but not past the 50% mark. If you push her past the 50% mark, she's going to burn a charge and heal up and gain a whole bunch of buffs. So it's actually right where we want her. So now we're going to use the Kestrel ult to go after Colleen, and anything killed by that Kestrel ult cannot revive. So. Colleen problem solved, and with Colleen out of the way, now it's just a matter of essentially letting Kestrel tee off on the rest of the team while out sustaining them. This Iron Fist was actually pretty sizable, but it's not going to be too much of an issue. The Misty Knight is pretty small, but it wouldn't make a significant difference if Misty Knight was any bigger. Once Colleen is down, this match is all but one. Uh, there's just tons of targets on the field, plenty of sustain. Kestrel, of course, is going to be very, very healthy and heal from all the negative effects and everything. So, yeah, this is just a matter of wearing them down. Once you've eliminated Colleen pretty much right away, you're pretty safe. And Hydra really excel here at basically just playing the stalling game between Crossbones taunting and having death proof. And then Red Skull is going to keep reviving Rifle Trooper and summoning more of them on the field. So just plenty of runaround to give Kestrel time to work. And then you can really rack up the damage by putting a defense down on someone and then constantly attacking into that defense down, which procs Kestrel's passive to do another follow up attack. So you can see already no charges left on Misty, no charges left on Luke Cage and only one charge left on Iron Fist. Red Skull does finally go down, which means this is going to be Rifle Trooper's last life. But again, it doesn't really matter. Misty Knight already down. Rifle Trooper going to hit into that defense down. Kestrel passive is going to proc the final charge. So now they're out of charges. And yeah, as you can imagine, the odds are stacked very much against them. And you can see based on how convincing of a win this was that it absolutely works as a punch across and even small punch ups. So having a large Kestrel really helps with this. If you have a very small Kestrel, you might want to be careful. One other thing I can suggest is while this is the most efficient team that you can use to take down a hero for hire, if you don't have all the characters just at the right power levels. Your Kestrel is kind of small. A very safe play is to replace Crossbones with Silver Surfer. That is occupying another really top tier character that could be used for other stuff. But Silver Surfer will be able to remove charges from any of them with his ultimate. And it's basically a guaranteed win. If you just swap out Silver Surfer for Crossbones, you'll win this matchup 100% of the time. So. You do not have to do that, but that is an option if the balance for your team isn't right where you want to do it. And again, I would just be wary of rooms buffed by security or security itself, because I have seen Kestrel essentially get punched out by Iron Fist when she has defense down after Misty has hit into her and Colleen has hit into her. So yeah, you want to be a little bit careful with that. But otherwise, that's the team and it works very well. But all right, so that is what I've got for you guys today. A very quick video, but I wanted to just put this out because people were asking for alternative counters to the heroes for hire team and so we found this one which again is very efficient the only rare character you're really using here is kestrel otherwise it's a combination of the old and the new hydra team so it's very very efficient so i did want to share that with you guys but yeah if you guys have any other really really effective counters that you guys have found of course please leave those in the comments below but as i said uh, that's all i've got for you for this video so please be sure to like 
subscribe, and hail Hydra. And I will see you guys real soon. Until next time. Peace.